Friday night live improv from New York City. We got a treat for you now. Sandy and Angelica are gonna do what's called an open options game. I see you there, Don. He's got his he's got his peepers on. Um, they're gonna play an open options game. What's gonna happen is they're gonna start a scene. I'm gonna direct it uh, like a film director, and uh, the rest of the cast is gonna help us throw different options in because we're gonna we're gonna create this movie for you live as it happens. So. You guys, um, I might ask you to uh, mute your microphones, but keep your finger on the mute button because I'm going to need you pretty soon. Uh, just to get them started, can I get a uh, relationship for them, a uh, relationship between humans? Coworkers, colleagues. Love it. Coworkers is what they are. Where are the coworkers? In a pop shop. A pop shop, like a soda place. Soda Joy. Soda Joy? Sure. All right, let's get started. You are co workers at the pop shop. Uh, if you are not Sandy or Angelica, mute your microphones. You kids, take your time, have fun. Ooh, Layla, look at this one. Oh my goodness. This. <gasps> Try it. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Freeze, I'm sorry to stop you guys so soon. I mean, it's going great, it's really great. But when she sips the soda, she finds something inside the bottle. What is it? A triangle. She finds a triangle inside the bottle. Yeah, that's correct. Let's try it, let's try it and go. You put a triangle in my drink? Of course I wouldn't do that to you. Let me see. If I get another one. Okay, let me compare. I mean, it looks like this one has a triangle as well, but that's so strange. Freeze, you know what else is, uh, by the way, you guys are doing wonderful work. Scene is going great. But uh, I think we should add a psychological element to it. Uh, let's give Angelica a fear that she can inject into this. What is she afraid of? Geometry. Uh, what? So, what did you say? Geometry. She's terribly afraid of geometry. And Helica and go. Okay, I'm gonna get another one just to make sure. This is really strange. That sounds oh, great. What? No. There's a, there's a I, trapezoid in this one. Holy smokes. Here, here. Oh, okay, thanks. Oh, oh wow, don't, don't worry about it. I'll, I'll take care of the customers with the trapezoids and the triangles and Gosh, I'm waiting for an octagon, but oh. I'll, you don't have to look. I can do that. I can do that. Don't worry, Cindy. Cindy, it's going to be okay. It's going to be fine. Freeze. It is going to be fine. And the scene is going wonderfully. And I, you know, and Helica, I'm just going to, I'm going to get, I'm going to go to our producers and get a secret that you're about to reveal. What, uh, what is Angelica going to reveal as a secret? She makes macaronis. She makes macaronis. Angelica, go. Thank you. Thank you for taking that over. That was really stressing me out. Gosh, no. Oh, no problem. I am happy to help. I am just happy to help. We're just, li I'm lining these up. You don't have to go to this side of the counter. When people come in, I got it. I got it, Cindy. You know, I think I, ha I have a solution to this problem. I actually make macaronis and I think we could replace the geometrical shapes with macaroni and they're edible. So it makes perfect sense. <sighs> macaronis. Yeah. Who doesn't like macaroni? Oh, Nobody God. doesn't like macaroni. It's fabulous. Let's freeze you for a second. We have some investors that just uh, got involved in the movie, and they'd like it if you did this movie in a, in in 
different accents. Can I get a European accent for Sandy, please? Italian. Italian, excellent. And one for Angelica. French. French. Yeah, if you guys could go ahead and uh, Sandy, do yours in an Italian accent. And I'm like, yeah, you're, now, you're now French. Thanks. Go. All right. Uh, right over here. Oh. <laughs> Cindy. I want, I want to get a people to macaroni. Oh. I know it is so tasty. It is going to be so much better than squares and trapezoids and all these weird shapes. So much better. Yeah. And I, we sprinkle a little mozzarella on. Oh, I love cheese. I love cheese. It's so good. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Let me try some of that mozzarella. Bellissimo, bellissimo. Let me try it. Freeze, I'm so sorry. It's not enough for our investors. Uh, Sandy, they would like you to continue this film in actual Italian. And Helica, your responses need to be in French from now on. Uh, I hope you know those languages. Uh, <laughs> break a leg. Uh, uh, una mata, yada, yada, piada, bosha, Ah oui, 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 je comprends. Moi aussi. Euh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. S'il vous plaît, s'il vous plaît. Je peux probier, ne? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Freeze. Uh, to, you know, uh, no fault of your own, we lost those, those, um, those investors, and, and, and that's okay because. Uh, I thought that your original uh, North American accents were working better anyway. So let's go back to those. But I think we, we did get more money from another source. And so we can do a period piece. Uh, let's, let's get a time period where we can now set this scene. 1492. In 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. Can you please continue this scene, but in 1492... <clears throat> oh, yes, this cheese is delightful. Yes. What say you? Oh, I say a little bit over ripened. Hmm. Freeze, I cannot believe that you said that because that is the name of the closing number the big song that we finished this, 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 this movie in. Well done. Uh, Over-ripened cheese is the name of the song. Um, and uh, let's, let's go to our, our other producers. What song style would you like our song Over-ripened cheese to be in? Reggae. Reggae. Oh. <laughs> Reggae. Uh, yes. Can you please finish with the big finishing number uh, in reggae style called Over Ripened Cheese? And maybe, hang on for just for a second, maybe the rest of you can give them a bass line to play with. because I'm an idiot. Okay. That was, please keep your eye out for that movie when it, when it is released in uh, 2000 and probably 40 at this point. Uh, well done, Sandy and Helica and the rest of you. I completely threw you all under the bus and you did wonderfully. Hey, you hang around, you person that is watching this in your home, not wearing pants. Uh, we're going to be back with more improv for you in just a few minutes. They're not wearing pants, I know it. Oh, but right, but... <laughs>